let's talk about pushing the paradigm then. So Aptera just isn't a car. It's arguably a whole new category. Yes. What made you believe this form factor was viable? Uh, well, they, they brought to the table a lot of, let's say, data and CFD results that said, this is a really slippery shape. How do we fit people in it? So that's when kind of I came in and they're like, okay, we've got this shape and bless their hearts, they, they, built, they built one and it was literally a skin, right? It had nothing, it had no bones, no structure. So I looked at it from the standpoint of we gotta build, we gotta, you, you put your people in there, you give, you put them in a position that's not, let's say the most expected or comfortable, but it's certainly accept acceptable, especially as it relates to um, the driving dynamics, right? I'm being very careful not to compare it to like uh, the way a car drives, but essentially that is the essence of what you feel when you're driving uh, an Aptera. And you're, you're very aware that your control system and there's an occupant or there's somebody next to you. So if there's a familiar automotive experience, it's, it's very unique. So why do you think that traditional EV makers didn't go after the solar efficient ultralight vehicle market? Though? I think they did in a, some conceptual ways, but they, no one really brought the right level of design. Like if you're going to compete in a space that's existing, you'd probably be wise to be a little bit more conventional. But if you're going to be different, you better be strikingly different enough so that it's, it can survive on its own. And, you know, otherwise you're, you're, you're talking about trying to satisfy, trying to satisfy a very well-intentioned um, existing paradigm or existing framework, but that's not what this vehicle is about. You can't just say, well, yeah, the exterior is wild, so let's give it, you know, let's make it just the same on the interior. You know, conversely, the aspect of lightweight has always been an issue, but it's, it's not very cost-effective, but it is now.